Good morning, Doc Pasqua. I am Amitas Kipot from BSN3C and I am here to explain about a brief explanation of setting up the Mayo table down to the aftercare of the instruments. So we have the handling of the Mayo cover. Um, we will observe the proper principle and first is that we will handle the Mayo cover with sterile gloves. Then you will hold the cover above the waist level and make sure that the Mayo cover uh, the mouth of the male cover is facing towards you. Then the draping the table with sterile cover is that your um, glove hand should be hidden and protected with the folded portion of the opening of the cover. Then the sterile, uh, make sure that the sterile side would not um, get contaminated. Then next would be the setup of the basic instrument on the Mayo table. So first is that you will check the instrument if it is sterilized. Then um, you will pack the instruments without getting contaminated. Then inspect for some imperfections or functionality. Then change it if necessary. Then you will lay the retractors and other heavy equipments on the left table. Then leave bowls and basins on the left table. Then you will place the needles and the sponges and other items also in the lap table, then you will uh, make sure that to avoid overlapping of the instruments to um, um, to make sure that the instruments will not be contaminated of the unsterile field. The next is we have to arrange the instruments according to a specific location and position. So we have, we have there is that we have the place towel roll, then um, along with the place towel roll, you will put um, above it the koan the kelly curve the eight kelly curves then the um eight kelly straight then the four bob cocks then the four alleys then next would be the um thumb forcep one thumb forcep with teeth then two thumb forcep um without teeth then the needle holder dua ka needle holder then the koan ka blade holder and also the matzen bomb sa kabuok then next would be the koan ka nang mayo scissors dua ka so that would be the setup of the koan ka arrangement of the instruments according to the location and position. So we have here the koan, the attaching of the blades. So make sure that koan, you choose the appropriate koan, appropriate blade holder to, according to the blade number. So for example, kanang, we have this in knife, the koan, the appropriate koan knife holder is that the koan um, handle four with us. Uh, blade number 20 or what we call the skin knife so it is used to cut skin then we have the handle tree with a uh, blade number 10 it is um it is used to cut a superficial tissue or what we call the inside knife then we have the koan can handle seven <coughs> with a blade number 15 it is used to cut deep delicate tissue so when attaching the koan the blade into the needle holder make sure that you clamp it securely then when you attach it make sure that it is pointing downwards to assure safety then you repeat the technique into other koan kanang blade. So in handling and kanang serving instruments, make sure that kanang observe ka extra koan, extra caution when dealing with the instruments like for example the scissors, the knife, and other needles. And koan secure all instruments kay koan kanang to avoid fall kay arong dili siya mga guba. Then koan serve the instruments kanang with the proper technique. Okay, koan ka nang, some uh, doctors will koan give the hand sign on how to uh, what in, koan ka instruments ang ilang ipangayo. So in handling and serving of instruments, kana make sure that move serve ka with extra caution, especially when you will serving a koan ka nang scissors, knife, and needles. And kanang koan imong secure nga all instruments is koan ka nang secure so that koan you will restrain it from falling. Then when serving the instruments, make sure that that it is ang um, koan ka nang na koan jud sa palm sa koan surgeon kay arong mga koan jud nimong nakuptan niya. Then, kuan kanang, um, the surgeon will kuan man give kuan hand sign if what instruments are kuan they are asking. So, muna siya sa kuan handling and serving of instruments. So, kuan kanang, in kuan kanang handling or maintaining the kuan order and organization of the meal table. So, make sure nga if ang, ang some of the instruments are, are, are already used, kanang if nakai, nakai pag hatag ubalik sa surgeon is, if kuan you have time, you wipe it with the koan kanang 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 cotton cotton balls or nga na solution then you will koan kanang balik sa koan sa lap table so that koan you will strain from koan kanang kanang baganing koan contamination of the blood coming from the koan from the patient so make sure nga before sa ni may sa mga lap table koan it is properly wiped with koan solution 
So I have here the sum of the basic and instruments na kuan ka nang um, I will ex I will tell you what this instrument is then kuan ka brief explanation lang about its use. So since I don't have it at home so I decided to print it out. So kuan I have here the instrument for retraction. So um retract uh, mga kuan instrument for retraction kuan na siya kanang it is used to hold or retract some um tissue to it gain more exposure to the kuan operation site. So I have here the kuan this one, the Diver Retractor. So, Diver Retractor is used to kuan kanang retract um, deep abdominal incision. We have here next is the ne, Richardson. So, Richardson is also used to retract kanang mga kuan kanang mga deep abdominal incision. So, next is ne, Army Navy. It is used to kuan retract um, shallow incision. Then, ne, I have here the Gullet. It is also used to retract mga shallow incision. Then this one is the malleable. It is used to retract kanang mga kanang tagani kanang wound. And I know it is used to retract kanang deep wounds incision. So kanin mga malleable. It is used to retract kanang deep wound incision. So we have here the koan the weight planner. So it is also used to for retraction for um shallow incision. Then here we have the koan Balfour with bladder blade. So this is used to koan retract um, deep wound edges to koan to really koan kanang gain um, exposure to the operative site. So next I have here the koan used to cut and dissecting instruments. So cutting and dissecting instruments um this is sharp and are used to cut body tissues and other surgical supplies. So I have here the straight meo scissor. It is used to cut um, um sutures and other supplies. And we have here the koan curved meo scissor. Um this one is used to cut um, um muscles like uterus, breast and koan ovaries. So next would be any medicine bomb. It is used to cut delicate tissue. Also, I have here the electro cautery. It is used to cut tiny, little, like, very tiny vessels. So I have here the clamp clamping and occluding instrument. So um, this is used to compress blood vessels or uh, other hollow organs for hemostasis, hemostasis or to prevent spillage of the contents. So I have here the hemostat. It is used to clamp um, blood vessels. Then this one is the Kelly. It is used to cut blood, uh, no, larger vessels. Then this one is the right angle. It is used to clamp kanang hard to reach vessels. So moto siya sa kuan, sa clamping and um, occluding of instruments. Next would be the kuan grasping and the holding of instruments. So I um, it is used to hold tissue, um, drapes or other sponges. So I have here the Aldis. It is used to kuan kanang grasp um, ta tough tissue. Then this one is the koan bobcocks or it is used to koan kanang grasp or hold koan delicate tissue like palupian tube, ingana, ovary. Then this one is the forester. It is used to hold sponges or katong cold, ay, what we call peanut nga katong maragag may nagapas especially in OB it is used kay koan kanang kanang anak it is koan dagang kay bleeding. So we use na siya dito. And this one, it is the koan, abdominal pack. So, muna siya. Use na siya para sa kanang mga nai mag-bleed. And we have here the koan, kanang sum for sum without tip. And the sum for sum with tip. So, after the surgery or the operation, make sure that you will count the instrument kanang correctly nga walay nawala niya with the kuan kanang circulating nurse to ensure nga walay nabilin nga instrument inside the operation site of the patient so after the counting of the instrument kung complete na siya then you will do the aftercare of the instrument so i discard ni mga use needles into the designated containers then kuan kanang iimo inspect ang instrument nga if na ba siya guba or na ba siya crack para ma-report siya ni mga muna siya then it is in fact the instrument by following kanang institutional protocols sa autoclave ba or emotionally sterilized. So that's all for the koan, the the instrumentation kanang
procedure of from the Mayo table down to the aftercare of the instruments. So thank you for watching. I hope you have gathered some knowledge from this video. Thank you.